Welcome to the Interval Zero video overview of RTX 64 Vision. In this video, we will take a look at the features provided by RTX 64 Vision and give some instructions on how to get started using the product. RTX 64 Vision provides functionality for discovering, controlling, and streaming data from GigiVision cameras over an Ethernet connection through the utilization of the RTX 64 stack, a GigiVision filter driver, and the RTX GigiVision library. RT Geeky Vision APIs allow for the layering of third-party vision libraries like OpenCV on top of RTX 64 Vision, giving access to their functionality in a real-time environment. In addition, RTX 64 Vision provides a communication library for easily passing images from RTSS to Windows. Using this communication library, Windows functionality can be used in parallel with RTX 64 Vision functionality such as displaying images in a GUI or doing some image processing in Windows. Before using RTX 64 Vision, we need to set up an RTX 64 NIC. First, we will convert a NIC to RTX 64 in the Windows Device Manager. In this case, we will use an i211 NIC, however, other RTX 64 supported NICs will work as well. Now we can add a new network interface using the device we have converted to RTX64. One thing to pay attention to here is the IP address. We need to make sure that it is on the same subnet as the camera's IP address. In addition, the RTX64 Vision samples find this NIC using its name. So for the samples to function properly without any code changes, we need to use the name rtgiggy one nic the driver name and location fields can simply be left as the defaults. Now we need to add the RTX64 GigiVision filter driver to the interface. Set filter status to enabled, then click on the browsing button in the filter name field. Browse to the bin folder in the RTX64 Vision Runtime Install directory and double-click on rtgigifilter.rtdll. If you are using any of the cameras which we list in our documentation as working out of the box, then the following will not be necessary. Otherwise, the camera must be set up to run with RTX64 Vision. To do this, we can use the RTX64 Vision Camera Setup tool. Click the Discover Cameras button, and then, once camera discovery has completed, choose the camera from the drop-down menu populated with all of the discovered cameras. Once a camera has been selected, information for a number of different camera properties will be displayed. We must ensure that this information is correct. The vast majority of the time, if there is an issue, the camera setup tool will display a warning icon by the field that is causing the issue. In this case, the width address does not seem to be correct. To resolve this, we must open the XML device description file of the camera, which was downloaded from the camera when we discovered it using the tool, and which can be found in the Interval Zero folder in public documents. In this file, we need to search for the width feature. And eventually, if we keep searching, we will find the address we need. Once we place that address in the address field of the width property in the camera setup tool and hit apply, the issue will be resolved and we can run a vision application. RTX64 Vision includes an RTGiggy Vision sample, which is a basic example of how the RTGiggy Vision APIs function and how they are intended to be used. It is also a good test to make sure that a camera and RTX64 Vision are functioning properly. So let's run it. Depending on the configuration of the camera, this can take a few minutes to complete, but given the current configuration of this camera, it should only take a few seconds. Here we can see that we successfully initialized control of the camera, queried some basic configuration settings, started a stream, acquired a number of frames, and then finally closed the stream and relinquished control of the camera. The source code for this sample is provided in the RTX64 Vision SDK and can be used as a good reference for layering third-party vision libraries and functionality on top of the RTX64 Vision product.
The candy test sample shows how to perform some edge detection using OpenCV. In addition, it passes images at each stage of the image processing to another sample, RTGE Show, a Windows application through the use of our RTX64 Vision Communication Library APIs. RTGE Show then displays these images in GUIs using the OpenCV IM Show function, using the Windows build of the OpenCV DLLs and libs provided with RTX64 Vision. Here we can see that Candy Test receives the base image, converts it to grayscale, applies a Gaussian blur, and then finally performs the edge detection using the Candy function. This concludes our overview of RTX64 Vision. For more information, see the product documentation installed with the RTX64 Vision SDK and available online at www.intervalzero.com. Thanks for watching.